That's my buddy Josh, and this here is my buddy Bryce. We're on the Buffalo River. I don't know if you've ever had the honor of kayaking with the Unabomber, but here I am. <laughs> it's the glasses in the hood. Oh my god, look, it's the giving tree. It looks like the giving tree from Shel Silverstein. Oh my god, it's the giving tree! I love you! Oh. I think that tree has finally had enough. You know, I brought everything I needed for this trip, except a spray skirt. And I didn't think we would have Class 3 Rapids, but some of the sections were, uh, <laughs> dicey. Happy Memorial Day! Woo! 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 Oh! Uh, my nuts got wet. It was at this point, this kayaker knew he done messed up. Oh mm. goodness, there's the rapids coming up here. That's invigorating. It is about 50 degrees this morning. And I think it's gonna get up to 70. The Greeks have a word called drosino. And drosino means refreshing. That overspray in those little mini rapids was Drosino. Ooh, and a big rock! There were a lot of oxbows in this river, and I really love them because you can go to the left or to the right, and of course it's got that land, that's where you get the oxbow turn. And some of them were faster than the others, and, uh, and, and some of them were really long splits. The variety that this river offered was incredible because you know you have some tight, faster sections and then these beautiful sprawls of wide open and high cliffs. Just gorgeous. This is one of the first little waterfalls that we found, and uh, they were great to just, not just a photo op, but uh, also get some pure, fresh drinking water. We almost passed this one, but a really nice lady said, hey, you guys should check this out. It's a great waterfall. This is the hidden falls that just keeps giving. Do I have you a good lighting? <laughs> yeah, it's like me in the waterfall. <laughs> right now we're working on being the um, the uh, nation's first synchronized kayakers. And uh, I think we're on our way.
y'all, this river is, it, it's special. You know, it's, it, it's, it's really pristine. Here comes the sun. Josh's skeg had been damaged, it basically came off, but we captured it and later attached it because it was really affecting his ability to track. This is what I like about you, Josh. You get yourself in the most serious predicaments and you're like, all right, we're good. Because I saw Josh that he got swept and I was like, God, I had to paddle like a mofo just to not be in that same spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we are going to have to fix this skeg. He got pushed hard against this giant 15 foot root ball. And, uh, uh, Josh was a victim of what's called a scooping fluke. You get the scooping fluke, where it just scoops and then you fluke. Yeah. It's happened to all That's of us. That's a lot of current pushing really hard into a dead spot. And, uh, he didn't even he lose his did hat. did a great job working his way out of it. Me right now, we'd be looking for about 20 packs of MREs all floating down the river. <laughs> yeah, it, it was pretty gnarly. That was not a pretty thing to see. Freaking root ball. That was gorgeous. It's so hilarious because these two guys are, I don't, I don't know if they're more organized, but this is what I look like. My, my kayak just explodes and, and it takes me a while to get everything together. Mmm, MREs, delicious. This young lady got hung up on the rocks for a second and then uh, almost decapitated Josh. <laughs> Eagle Eye Bryce, that's what I'm calling him. He, he catches so many things. He saw these two young What's girls with, with a dog blood all over them oh, and pad. the dog was injured. So I asked if they needed help kid, okay. and they did. Absolutely, yeah. This awesome dog's name is Axel and he was a great patient and his pad was cut and we attended to it. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Now, who's who's Axel's mommy and daddy? Okay, I'm gonna leave you some vet wrap here and uh, just some four by some gauze. So if you need to change it, you just just apply a little pressure, but don't wrap it up too tight. And there's a little. Oh, you're very welcome. They get those claws cut or nails, and man, they're really they're very vascular, so they really bleed. I had a front I had a front ball forty feet. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. There's my patient, Axel. Axel's like, what's the big deal? I'm cool with it. I'm just bleeding a little. What happened? Over? Oh, against the, uh, the rocks. I've seen
seen Christine work on a lot of pods. I think Axel's going to be fine. How far away are you from your craft? Which way is your boat? Is it uh, upstream? Okay. It's good? Yeah. Is your boat jammed up there or did you got eyes on it? Oh, okay. Dude, this could be our thing. Kayak responders. Let's just stop the bleeding. Yeah. And just, yeah, and just when you get a chance, clean it out. Well, on the shore here, taking care of various functions, I did not have a bilge pump. These gentlemen do. And on the shore, I saw what I thought was a dog toy. It appeared to be like a dog print or something, and I pick it up. And Bryce says, that is an actual artifact. Oh, that evening when we were setting up our camp, I look who comes by. It's my buddy Axel. His family was camping close by, and he took me right to him. It's like he wanted to say thank you. It was really cool. Today, and especially in this section, we, we have the river to ourselves, but, but I don't mind the people. I like, I like connecting. And uh, these rivers represent those who float and those who paddle and boat. You realize it becomes more of a, a community, this wonderful mentality of, hey, we're all in this together. You know, different shapes, sizes, colors, but we're all on the same river. And that's, uh, to me, that's a great lesson. Eagle Eye Bryce. But oh, you're something gonna else. You're oh, not going to believe how cute water. this is. You ready? Yeah. Careful. Oh my god. Look at this little, look at this little red-eared slider. Isn't he beautiful? Oh my god. Isn't he awesome? He's the cutest little teeny turtle. I plucked it right out of the water. Oh my god. <laughs> name is Myrtle. Y'all, I'd like you to meet Myrtle. Can I be the godfather? You can. <laughs> he loves you already. I love you. I love you, Myrtle. I think he's enjoying the sun. He, I was petting him on the shell. Mm -hmm. He was just shutting his eyes, just enjoying it. Or praying that you're not going to eat him. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with the first thought, though. Dude, what a treasure. What an absolute treasure. Isn't he beautiful? That's the plaster on. And this uh, back on that, you know what this ridge is called in the shell? The carpanium. Oh geez, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I, you could have stuck with it. Okay, little Myrtle. Here you go. <laughs> oh, you should have seen him. He just like went bloop. <laughs> the deep dive Myrtle. Deep dive Myrtle. Myrtle was a champion. Oh, that was great. <laughs> this is like whoop to do. This is like a rhythm section in Mother Cross. <laughs> Bryce has got paddle flare going through that section. <laughs> I like it. good recovery. <laughs> it's like you almost dropped him. I'll turn it to a back, to a back flare. That's well, I got a visitor. This little butterfly just didn't want to leave me. Drying my wings. Who got me a friend? I don't mean to disturb you, but I've got some rapids coming up here and I must paddle to the right or I will die. So stay if you like. My mom used to call butterflies flutterbys. And when people would ask her why, she would say, because they just flutter by. I like to call them flutterbys, because they just flutter by. This river reminds me a little bit of some of the rivers of, uh, that I grew up in in East Tennessee. And I'd never, I've never been in the Ozarks. I've never been in the Ozarks. I've been in the Appalachian Mountains quite a bit. 
but something about it, the smells, that beautiful honeysuckle over there blooming right now, just, oh wow, it's intoxicating. And I like to think that uh, when things like this happen, you know, it's, uh, I look to nature, nature sends me signs. I think that's my mom telling me that I'm doing all right and that she's doing all right. Yeah, yeah, I just have a friend. You've made it to Mount Hershey. Once again, Bryce spots something and it's <laughs> Butterfly Island. Inconceivable! My little hitchhiker decided to visit with the butterflies. Big rock. We stopped on this awesome island that's basically a deposit of rocks and sand and really cool foliage. When Bryce spotted this in the water and retrieved it, I could not believe it. A box turtle will drown in the water. Seriously. Oh yeah. Oh, I think he's a snapping turtle. No, no, he's a box turtle. Yeah, he's a box turtle. Can we take him to land? Yeah, we're gonna take him over there. You wanna take him over? What's his name? Uh, Henry. That's exactly what Henry. <laughs> okay, you got land coming up here. I'll, I'll spin you around. There's only one box turtle that I know of that can swim, and they, they don't really swim that well, and they're indigenous to Mexico. There had been a lot of rain a few days before, and th this turtle was in trouble. Box turtle, <laughs> they don't swim. They don't do well in the deep water. Floating in the water. They're not swimmers. Box turtles are not swimmers. Look at him looking at the land. Yeah, he's like, I see the promised land, literally. Look at him going for it. He's literally going for it. Look at him. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> Because I'm ready to crawl. There you go, buddy. That is freaking awesome. Y'all, this was a great trip, and I highly recommend the Buffalo River. Uh, it was kind of magical. My understanding is that it's 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 essentially part of the park system, the entire river. We only did about 60, 70 miles of it, but man, was it fun. That man in a medium hole. Beautiful. We are victors. We are not victims of the river, we are victors. Touch my tip, pull me. <laughs> Spin me. Spin me right around. That's my friend Bryce. He and I poop in the woods, but not at the same time. That would be weird. However, not weird to talk about it. Bryce found some uh, bear scat this morning. I've seen bear scat. I'm no scatologist, but that's bear scat. Moist and wet though. I just have it. I get wet doesn't have. It's just moist. Because moist is uncomfortable. Wet, you're like swimming or in a pool or taking a shower. Moist, you're just like. Ugh. 
Yeah, well, it to the same to the same effect. We are uh, also cringe with the word flow. 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 Yeah, that's. Yeah. What word? Flow. Flow. What about moist flow? Well, that <laughs> that right there would do it for me. <laughs> I love these guys. Really, really, really good day on the river. Every morning, Bryce and I are ready at the crack of dawn, and Josh is like, You gotta tear a page from my book. I told him I'd be ready by 7 sharp, and look at that, 7.15. Like clockwork. Gentlemen, let's yak! Can you imagine being stuck with me on a river for four days? It's glorious. <laughs> God bless him. There was a nice fellow that took our photo and his thumb made a selfie. I think that's so awesome. I want to encourage you to check out the Buffalo River in Arkansas. We dropped in at Ponca and we put out at Kyle's Crossing. And it's just a beautiful river. As always, y'all, continue to be good to one another, live to ride, and paddle another day. I thank you.